And then lastly, I think this critical issue of risk. When you move into a pandemic, you have to begin to move. You've got to go ahead and purchase vaccines. Since its founding in 2014, the Sanak Peace Prize has been awarded to extraordinary people. This year, we honor a rare and wonderful organization characterized by international cooperation and passion for humanity that helped save lives during the global pandemic. I'm thrilled to introduce you to our 2022 Sunhawk Peace Prize winner, Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance. Congratulations to everyone working with Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance. We believe your work towards vaccine equity contributed greatly to protecting the health of humanity especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, at the beginning of when it was recognized as um, a concerning, uh, first obviously infection, then epidemic, and ultimately a pandemic, um, we knew in our previous experience that um, when vaccines were involved, they tended not to get to people who, in some argue, some could argue, needed them the most. Our goal was to try to get rid of as much as possible that equity gap. When you speak uh, of uh, COVID, uh, we are delivering to 145 countries. We have AMC 92. The AMC is a funding mechanism with explicit focus on uh, paying for vaccines on behalf of the 92 lowest income countries. It has delivered 1.5 billion vaccines in just 18 months. Thanks to the effort that have been made through the first 20 years of existence of Gavi, building health system, building a health workforce, we were able to use that system to deliver the COVID-19 vaccine. Well, the beauty of Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, is that it is an alliance of all of the major players in immunization. But our role is to take those to scale when they make sense for populations. You bring the entire uh, field along with you, including not only critical UN agencies like WHO, UNICEF, um, uh, Bretton Woods agencies like the World Bank, but also civil society, the vaccine manufacturers, um, private industry, for every one dollar you invest in vaccine, the benefits is over fifty dollars. There's no other buy like that in global health. We've seen over years a reduction in under five child mortality. We saw a 50 percent reduction in child mortality. We had a new way of thinking about this in this current strategy period called the zero dose child. That will make the biggest difference in survival, but also preparation for future outbreaks because it's those blind spots that are places where outbreaks uh, can start. It was born out of uh, the recognition that uh, there is a child that is consistently missed by our routine immunization. This program, uh, is going to be looking at uh, cross-border settings where governments are not always able to reach. To reach these children, we have to invest in being able to identify them and know who they are and uh, where they are. I think uh, a peaceful end uh, to this pandemic, the peace that we seek is that no one is left behind and everybody is vaccinated. Because again, at the end of the day, what we really want to do is make sure that every person in the world can live up to their full potential. Being able to predictably uh, know you can take care of your children, that you're going to be able to afford it, that you're going to show up at the clinic and the vaccine will be there. Immunization systems help generate um, the ability for, for families to thrive and, and create some of that certainty, which to me kind of reinforces the hope that is linked critically to peace. Peace can only be achieved when we seek and we put equity first. Because when we have put equity first, we have thought about the other person and they are bound to think about us as well. Well, I must say that the staff of Gavi, the supporters of Gavi, all believe on the fundamental importance of health as um, necessary um, for populations of the world. And so 
We were very honored to be included in this very prestigious award. We were very happy and proud to um, be seen as an organization that was working not just towards health, but towards peace.